Today, it's all about photorealistic retouching. Stay tuned. So the first thing that we want to do is soften her skin. So we are going to create a duplicate of our layer. So I'm going to click on my layer, drag it down to the duplicate icon, which is the square with the plus, and you want to inverse your image. So we're going to press down Control i to inverse our image, and we're going to change the blend mode to vivid light. And then we go to filter, other, and then we choose high pass. Now you want to keep your radius at, at around 1.8. We're going to click OK. And then you want to add a layer max to the high pass layer that we just created. Now we want to inverse our layer max. So we press Control I to inverse it. So we just hit the high pass layer that we created. So now to reveal it, we're going to take our brush and we want to make sure that our foreground is white, white reveals. So we are going to paint over to reveal our high pass, which will make the skin soft. So if you don't see the brush head, it means that your cups, your cup lock is on. So when you turn it off, you can now begin to see the size of your brush. And now I'm just going to paint over. And as you can see, it's just changing the skin color. This is making the skin softer. The next thing that I want to do is to is to add a little bit more definition. Uh, is to add a little bit more definition to the cheekbones. So to do that, we're going to create a duplicate of our background. I'm going to turn off the original image. And I'm going to go for my dodge and burn. So with my burn tool selected, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to take down the exposure just a little. And I'm just going to begin to add some definition. I'm going to increase the brush head so I can do one sweep like that. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So we have something like that. I'm going to zoom out. The next thing is we want to have some highlights in the hair. So to do that, we want to change from the bend tool to the dodge, and we want to increase our brush head uh, just a little bit. And I'm going to now begin to do some streaks in the hair. And as you can see, it's beginning to show some highlights in the hair. I'm going to do that and maybe this area as well as that area. So if you look at that before and then after, it looks nice. So the next thing we want to do is to also um, increase the, is to add a little bit of color to the eye so we get that um, intense look. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new uh, solid color. So I want to go to my adjustment and we want to choose solid color and we want to change the color to almost like a greenish color, just like that. And with our layer max selected, you want to hold down control I, it will inverse it for you. We want to zoom in and we want to color in the eye. So we're going to pick our paint and I am going to decrease the size of that. And you want to make sure that you have white as your foreground, white reveals. And we are just going to paint that in like that. And I'm just going to paint that over like that. And what we are going to do is we're going to change that color to soft light. And with that layer selected for us, we are just going to paint over so it reveals the color beneath. So we're just going to do that. And I'm just going to decrease opacity. And we want to take it off in this area. So 
it's not too much. And we are going to zoom out. And if you feel it's too much, all you need to do is take down the opacity of the entire layer so it's not too pronounced. And if I turn this off, you can see a big difference. So I'm going to take it down just a little. So if you want to see all the changes you've done so far, all you need to do is hold down your alt and then click on your background image. It will hide all the layers above and then you will only be able to see the image you've begun with. So this is the before and as you can see, this is the after. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is how to change the lip color. So with this, this is very simple to do. So we are going to add another solid color. And maybe this time we're going to go with this color, something like that. I'm going to click OK. And then we want to inverse. So I'm going to hold down my Control I and then inverse it. So now we want to paint in the lip. So to do this, I'm going to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to pick my lasso tool and I'm just going to trace around the lip. So I'm going to just paint and as you can see, it looks a little bit more deeper than what we want. And I'm going to show you how to fix that in a second. So we have something like this. I'm going to press Control D. I know it looks too much. So what we are going to do now is that you want to change the blend mode. So I'm going to change the blend mode and we are going to do overlay. So now with the overlay, it doesn't look that bad. This is the before. And this is the after. If the color is too much, you can double click on this and you can just begin to change the color. And as you can see, as I change the color, I get something totally different, something like that. So I'm going to click OK. I want to show you one more thing that you can do to make the lip a little bit more realistic. So you want to double click on your layer so you go to the blending options now you want to take your underlining layer you want to split it so you want to hold down your alt and you want to split this this way like that and then you want to hold the other end and you want to do the same thing and i'm going to close it so you have something really nice so if i hold down my alt and i click on my bottom layer this is the before and this is the after. So you can see that these are very slight gestures, but they really make your image pop. So you can see that I added some cheekbones, some highlights in the hair. I softened the skin and also added a little bit more of an intense color to make the eye pop a little bit more. So this is it, guys. This is a very short tutorial. I just wanted to show you how you can take your photo from a natural look to something more of a red carpet ready look. So if you found this tutorial very interesting and informative, please like, share, subscribe, and also don't forget to turn on notification bell for all future uploads. And until next time, please be safe. Bye for now.